over 30 million people looking for work, and I'm sure a lot of warehouses will need to be filled uh, really soon. So thank you, Hunter. Simplify, bud, and have yourself a good weekend. Simplify is a great pleasure. Thank you. So we will have our final guest, Rudy Reyes, coming up next. So before we get to our final guest, and one that I've been excited to have on since he committed to saying yes to me, uh, is my good friend and United States Marine Rudy Reyes. Rudy has an amazing organization. Of all the things he does, Rudy is also a huge environmentalist. He helps save our reefs. He is part and the founder of Force Blue. To learn a little bit more about Force Blue, we've made this for you guys. The ocean is really the last frontier. It's the largest thing on the planet. It makes the oxygen that we breathe, yet it's so easy for us to ignore. Coral reefs in particular are like the rainforests of the underwater world, and we're seeing corals die off in many parts of the world. We put together a program that brought together the world of these special operations combat divers and the world of coral reef conservation and marine scientists. We have a chance with Force Blue to actually make a difference. We have aptitude and ability, we have discipline and knowledge. But purpose is the keystone that holds it together. Their intelligence is really high, their processing speed is very fast. They always need the next thing, the next thing, they're action oriented. You don't really intellectually comprehend sharks, but they're not as dangerous as they've been made out to be. There was such a distinct parallel between that and combat veterans. Remember, we're servicemen. We're starving. Like these animals keep moving to process that air and to keep on the hunt. That's what we need to do with service. The more dangerous or the more honorable, the better. That's Force Blue. If you take this energy, take a group of men who are willing to hear gunshots and run towards them to serve a larger purpose, converting now that service into a new cause, I've noticed that light come back on. You're not just going to dive and have fun. You're going now with a purpose, you're going on the mission, and that's, that's exciting. Great stuff down here. Magical. I'm very thankful to see what's at stake today, places like this. This sets the stage for why we're doing what we're doing. Being in the ocean forces perspective, you know, it's like you are passively engaged in this other world. I think that that is the most healing thing on Earth. Programs like Force Blue is that grace to attempt to allow us the perspective to move forward. Why not be a weapon of mass construction? Why not go out and rebuild coral reefs? I can't see the things that happened as a result of my actions in Iraq, but I can see the coral flourish. What I miss the most is meaning. Like whatever I'm doing has meaning for the greater good. These veterans, they're such an amazing new voice to the environmental community. People are going to listen to these Captain Americas about saving the environment. It's amazing how passionate everyone is, both sides, from the ecology side to the veteran side. This represents our little blue planet, the only one we have. One team, one fight. Ah! My brothers and sisters that are involved here in Force Blue are modeling a transition, a mission of hope and being a force of good and change in the oceans. I'm not done serving. I don't know if there's such a thing. Man, do we have an awesome guest list today? My man, Rudy Reyes. What's up, bud? And uh, in the video. I love um, it. Yeah, I had to move to higher ground and adjust antenna as per. Yeah. I love it. So everyone loved your video. I'm looking Thanks, into the brother. chat box. We've got a Navy vet. He's like, that's a great video. My man. I mean, everybody probably knows you from Gin Kill. You Thanks, know. brother. Thanks, great brother. Video. But Dude, what you're doing, you inspire me. I told you this in a private message. I, I mean it. Your videos inspire the snot out of me. 55 Thanks, pounds I'm down because of you your You look so mode. good. Bro, you look so good, my man. Remember when we had we had chow and some beers? Shoot, was it three years ago? Two years ago? Two years ago? Right um, across from the Scientology Center. Who could ever forget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brother, you just look like a different man. And... Uh, I'm just so proud of you, brother. Uh, and, you know, when we look back at our military service and, and if, if you did sports and, and athletics, 
uh, even uh, I was a wrestler, but, but there was still a team. And, and we say often, uh, steel sharpen steel. We do need community and we need, uh, we need reflections and inspirations. All of us do to bring out the very best in ourselves. I mean, when, when we were Neolithic, we were living in caves. What took us out of the caves and, and turned us into hunter gatherers is that some leadership happened and we started po- uh, sharpening sticks for stones and started working together to keep them predators off of us and to protect the fire. And, and then we started hunting ourselves, but we did it together as a tribe, as, as a village. And, and, you know, the tribe we had in the United States Marine Corps, it crosses generations and, and it'll be here uh, for a millennia. And, uh, uh, it, it's still the tribal essence, the steel sharpening steel, the, the touchbacks and reflections, the inspirations. And, and of course, I always start my day with working out and that, that physical fitness with what it does to the brain and the good chemicals in the brain to stave off malaise, depression, um, uh, especially, you know, with, with us brothers and sisters that have been downrange for so long and, and coming out of the service and my law enforcement and, and medical personnel, too, that are dealing with traumas. Um, uh, the depression and, and, and the PTSD um, that can uh, manifest in ways that are really destructive. But if you start with your workout, and I know you feel it, I know you know it, you've been doing it. You start with your workout and you get that, that blood going, the oxygenated blood. It starts attacking the freaking uh, um, the arthritis. Uh, you start feeling good about yourself. You start developing self-esteem. Then you can attack your day and be a successful uh, with your 30 minutes to an hour of training, um, you can be as successful as you are there in the rest of your life. You know, Rudy, I absolutely love your energy, brother. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like feeling it through the camera. It's like I need to get down. I need to get down to SoCal and hang out with you again. I need, I need a Rudy fix. And brother, I, mean, I feel you. I feel you. I'm the same way, brother. Um, uh, I, I'm kind of like international. You know, I, I. I drop, I, I drop to Target, whether it's, it's rebuilding coral reefs or, or, or working with some veteran organization or, or doing a, a, a film or a television project with other veterans too. Uh, I drop to Target. I, I, I infuse myself with the positive mental attitude and the energy of brothers and sisters coming together and making something happen because we're in the business of making it happen, brother. You know we are. And uh, it fills me up. So it becomes this like infinity loop and I call it, I call it infinite go. I love it. it is brother. Infinite it. go between go and go is go between go and go is go between go and go. It's infinite go. And when you, you uh, immerse yourself in great people with great people, you uh, move your body, you, uh, you engage with mother nature and then you have a mission. Those are my four pillars. There's nothing that you cannot do. I, I absolutely love it. So I know a lot of folks know are familiar with you as Fruity Rudy from you know Generation Kill on HBO. I'm so fabulous. I'm so fabulous. I'm- <laughs> and the funny thing is, people are like, "Is he really like that?" So I'm going to tell a story, and then we're going to continue Sir, on. Sir, Sir, but the first time I ever met Rudy, we were at We Are the Mighty headquarters. I was in a meeting. We're at We Are the Mighty, and all of a sudden, I, I was told that <laughs> Nate Boyer, the great Nate Boyer, and yes, the amazing- Nate. Rudy Reyes will be stopping by and I'm like I like I love Nate Nate's awesome don't get me wrong but as a marine yes. Rudy's kind of on that level as Kirsty right like thanks brother that's a massive honor special legend of these folks because you watch Jin kill I mean it's kind of like Lee Ermey right you see when Lee Ermey was around you would be like yeah gunnery sergeant Hartman if you're a yes. marine or yes, a military right. you know, metal. so I'm sitting in this meeting and outside I see this man in silkies no yeah. shirt on, and he's just doing pull up after pull up. Like, <laughs> whoa. And I'm like, like, what the hell's going on outside? And like, this isn't outside, outside. This is outside an office at a pull up bar that just happens to be the man that's just right. created a pull up bar. And I'm like, that's Rudy. And all of a sudden, I was like, fanboy, which was oh, funny. Oh, brother. What is it? Just another day at the office? Like, and they're like, oh, yeah, he does this. <laughs> so that kind of gives you the sense of Rudy when it comes to fitness, what he does. But I mean, you can watch him in Gin Kill. Now, you did produce a Super Bowl commercial, right? You were a director. Uh, I was the assistant director of the Marine Corps Super Bowl commercial, brother. It's one of my, uh, my most honored 
uh, pieces of camera uh, and, and media that I've ever done. And uh, even though I'm not in the video, but you know, when you look at my Instagram, you see the behind the scenes of the, of the devil dogs from, um, from 29 palms running and gunning and the explosions and such. Um, you'll see me directing them and freaking moving the column and, and, and freaking getting them online to freaking return fire. And then the, the special effects, the explosion goes. And then when you watch the commercial, it's the one where, where they say, it's not the ships. It's not the air power. It's not the armor that wins battles. Uh, it's the it's the fighting spirit of of the U.S. Marine. And you see this platoon commander doing a uh, a DA with his platoon, and he comes over the top, and he's ba ba, and he goes tango down on me, bro. I wrote that. I casted that guy. I, I and you know what, brother? It, it, it was a a dark green dark dark green devil dog. You, uh, a former enlisted, now like a supply officer. I, I, I auditioned a recon platoon commander, a grunt platoon commander. And, uh, and I just got to tell you, this dark greed, he had that freaking dead cell uh, essence and he had command presence on camera. So he was, he, he could, could relay that warrior spirit on camera. And there's something to be said about this modern era um, and I and it, and it's full of a lot of talking heads, and uh, and we have so much freedom here. Anybody can say and do whatever they want, really, without being uh, without it vibrating at a high level. But um, but the Zen Buddhists say say if a tree falls in a forest and no one is there um, to hear the sound, did it make a noise? So we have to document and, and, and create media that's purpose-driven, not just surface-driven, purpose-driven, and we can affect change in a positive way for all of us. Do you remember, Eric, when we were small, you know, when we watched uh, Full Metal Jacket, when we watched, uh, when we watched uh, First Blood, I just turned Jade, my fiance, onto First Blood. She'd never seen First Blood. And, and when we were kids when, and we watched The Guns of Navarone with with our, our uncles or our grandfathers, um, it inspired us. And we watched Rocky Balboa uh, and Bruce Lee. It inspired us uh, to have character and be men of, of strength and of our word. That's the, why I work in media now. I hope to do the same things and, and affect the, the same kind of inspiration now. And that's why that Marine Corps Super Bowl commercial means so much to me. Dude, that was it's a great commercial number one. If you haven't gone out and see it, go YouTube it. And now yeah, you know that's rad. Now you know behind the scenes the man who did it. So let me ask you, and we have a lot of gamers out there, and yes. there's a very popular game out called Call of Duty Warzone. Yes. Now, now a rumor, Duty. a rumor has it, not just you are in this, but even Jade is in this, right? Oh, I mean Jade's the superstar of it. I, I mean, right? and I was looking at I gotta tell you this, brother. I have the game. I'm a gamer. And a lot of the athletes I work with, as you know, Myers Leonard is the gamer of all gamers. Oh, the, yes. The, the, the had, man, you know, brother, former Blazer, no we wish he was still here. Myers is my boy. I had no idea. Because well, I don't play video games. I had no idea. Hey, uh, and Jade's just right over there. Um, I, had, <laughs> I had no idea. Myers is my boy. And do you know how I know Myers? Through Gunnar Peterson, uh, another icon in the, in athletic uh, coaching training. He's the athletic uh performance uh, director for the LA Lakers now. And of course he's Mike Tyson's coach. He's everybody's coach and he's a very good personal friend. He had me over and I met Myers. What a good man. So he, so he's a gamer, huh? Oh my God. So he's, so I'm sitting here and before I got the game, I was like, you know how you, as the military guy, you're going to go look at the game and be like, I want to see who they dressed on this cover. Yeah. Who's dressed up. yeah. What, what, what weakling did they put on here? They couldn't even get, and I'm like, I know that man right there. That's Rudy Ray. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute. I went to your IG. I'm like, okay, Jade. Okay, I'm starting to put this together. I was yes. like, good for you, EA. You went and got badasses to go be on the front cover of your game. So if you haven't gone and downloaded that game, go do it. It's number one. It's awesome. Two, you get to see some badass real veterans in it that you get to be. Yes. I'm still trying to find if you have a character in it because I want to be you. You know what? Right now I'm not a character. Jade just became a character. And she's like, um, you know, those legs, they are not as muscular as mine. You know what I mean? But but her character, I'm sure, is becoming very popular. Um, 
And, you know, I would not be surprised. I mean, because of uh, my notoriety in our culture and in the Marine culture and in the veteran culture, and now soon I'll be even more mainstream. Um, It would not surprise me. And I'm up for any challenge, bro. I I love it, man. So before we have you go, I I, I do want to talk about Force Blue because to me, it's amazing the folks it's global i mean it's not just american vets it's right. a series of folks and you guys are out there doing something that you wouldn't think of and again like when i think of guys like you and then i think of matt griff at combat flip-flops where he went and really has yes. this mess in third world countries to really you know afghanistan women leading the way you know using cartel places to build product and then you know taking exploded ordnance to sit save lives and turn it into jewelry. Now you're doing that and saving our environment and our dear precious oceans. What made you come up with this, man? How did you come out of, where did it go from acting to, you know what, F it, I'm gonna go save the environment while I'm at it. I'm just not a badass enough. How would I go save the environment? You know, Eric, how Force Blue started, um, you know, uh, being a recon Marine and, and being in a team and then ultimately becoming a team leader and, and doing martial arts and competing my whole life, I was always driving to something that seemed um, almost esoterically heroic. Sacrifice, discipline, passion, um, and serving the archetype of hero, which is you do the right thing and you do, you do what's brave and, and what's bold. And you stand and fight uh, when others are afraid to. Well, after I got out of the Marine Corps, even when I was contracting, I was doing, I was doing counterterrorism in Northeast Africa, it, it, uh, it, it became very gray. And out here in Los Angeles and in the entertainment business and, and such, it became very gray. And I didn't know, they were, I was living in New York and out, bouncing between New York and LA and, and anywhere and everywhere I had a job. And I, I didn't have a mission anymore. I did not have something special to believe in. And, and after going to, as a combat diver, I really never did fun diving in the Marine Corps. It was always austere. It was hardcore. We do submarine lockouts and freaking cold water. Uh, and it's always at night, heavily laden with gear under incredible amount of stress. And as you know, that's just our freaking Uber to work. The Uber being our freaking legs and hips kicking at 200 pounds of kit. And then we're either going to assault something uh, in the hinterland or patrol another 20 clicks uh, up into a mountaintop and set in for recon work. So it was really, really arduous. And I went to, uh, to dive in the Caribbean with a good brother of mine, my co-founder, Jim Ritterall. And uh, he, um, he used to do the, the Cayman Islands PR. And uh, he had a trip set up for him and his daughter. And he saw me on the streets of New York and I was not well. I was struggling really bad with alcohol, substance abuse, depression. Um, uh, you know, again, without that mission um, of virtue with, and with beautiful people to do it with, who, and you know, we have pride. We have pride, our, our abilities and our skills, but there was no place to put it. I went diving and I got into mother nature again. I got clean and sober I started working out hard, feeling good about myself, having some self-respect. And after being there 10 days, we were finding out that those reefs were being destroyed. And that these coral reefs that, that Rudy, you're so fortunate that you get to see this before it's gone. I said, what? This is going to be gone? This is what saved my life. This is what brought me back from the brink. And uh, I said, we've got to do something about it. I, I felt so strongly that we have to do something about it. Because we're men of action. If you join the United States Marine Corps, if you're a U.S. Marine, uh, you, we are men and women of action. And that's how the conversation started with, with Jim Ritteroff, my, uh, my Coast Guard freaking rescue swimmer, the legend. Uh, he'll never say it. Keith Som, he's the, he's, the, he's the man that the character The Guardian with Kevin Costner was based upon us three drinking rum after some rad diving, seeing the most gorgeous animals and fish under the water. And, and after lifting some weights, we sat around and started talking and we created force blue, the name, and then created the logo before we even knew what the hell we were going to do. But if that's not initiative, if that's not ma- message to Garcia, I don't know what is initiative, initiative, initiative. So then we started looking deeper into it and combining our efforts with scientists. And that's what makes force blue 
uh, unlike anything that's ever been done before, brother, my combat divers, my warriors, we are doing uh, illustrious work uh, alongside science divers and conservationists. And we are rebuilding and repairing, rescuing reefs and the uh, um, the life and the, the charismatic megafauna that live around it. We're doing turtle missions. We have shark missions on the horizon. Um, uh, so I created a school. And we were all just taking initiative and utilizing our inherent abilities and communication to other people and like-minded people to bring them on board. We made a school and now my men and soon to be women uh, are, are Dominus Ominous certified to do uh, conservation science repair diving. My, my teammates are paid by the state and the federal government. Uh, this is really austere work utilizing hard fought, hard learned skills we got in the military. We have British, we have South African, we have Egyptian and, and Israelis coming next. Uh, we have every special force and uh, every branch of service uh, uh, represented. And I see this as like the Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, but this is the Rainbow Six of, of healing the planet and fighting fighting for the planet's uh, health. And, and, you know, when we're in the Marine Corps, we go out there to fight for those that cannot fight for themselves and, and, cre and create a, a place where democracy can, uh, can take hold and we fight for each other. Well, that's what we're doing for these reefs. Dude, I am so motivated. Now I want to go get my diving license and go yeah. join. You. Yeah, brother. We're working on this, the Force Blue Science Diver Project in which all veterans – uh, if you have your advanced open water scuba, you can come out to us and train and work alongside of a subsurface. Wait, I'm going to go do that because this right is on, bro. Yeah, Rudy, you're amazing. I mean, we have it. I mean, we have to have you back. Number one, we have to have okay. you and Jane back. Oh, awesome. I got questions for the two of you just because I want to know who's the more badass. I mean, I'm well, she's definitely the more badass shooter and she's jonesing right now because the um, the COVID and such. Uh, it's been very difficult to get her practice in like she likes to, but that's coming back really soon. And we're considering going to other states. And, and there's a lot happening in her world and her work. But that Call of Duty uh, gig that we did together, that was the first time we worked together. We had so much fun. It was so rad. And it's, I have a feeling it's only the beginning. And you know what? We work together every day as, as soon-to-be man and wife. And we, we, we work together every day. She's the best teammate that I could ever have. That is so, I mean, that's awesome to hear as somebody who's been married for 16 years. I can tell you having a partner that is like, is like one of your brothers in the core is one of the greatest yes, things. It is. They have your back and they get it. And you can, you can take over the world together. Rudy, man, you are clearly doing that. I, you know, what's a fast fact is over 65 million people have downloaded that Warzone game. That's really? bananas to me. And seeing you and Jade and these other veterans that's like, yeah, we're all it's right so there, rad, baby. We're on your street, whether you want us there or not. So I love it. We're going to bring it's, you back because we got to talk about you served with Mattis. Everybody probably wants a good of, Mattis. Of course. I fought. Oh, bro, and I've got the best. I can't wait to tell you the, my Mattis story, my personal Mattis story like this. I'll have to bring you back to tell the Mattis story. We're going to tease people, but I want to give a shout out. You have a vet who's been on here, Tony Campbell, United States Navy or Uber. Yep. Uh, yeah. By the way, <laughs> accused of being very marine heavy today yep oh. every guest is marine and i mean Sounds we like started a the show with Venus, who said she would not miss an opportunity to be on the same show with you so oh, that's fantastic brother so i just cool love it brother i love these co-centric circles and how it's becoming quantum uh we're affecting people not just in our community but now we're affecting uh, the citizens and, uh, and communities uh, mainstream around the world and you know that call of duty is a great way uh to, to, to show that, my goodness, we are now, like you said, on a game that's 65 million downloads. Uh, that's real punch. That is real outreach, and it's only just beginning. I, I just did a film with Nate Boyer. He, he wrote it and, and produced it, or uh, co-wrote and co-produced. I'm doing another film with him uh, in, a, in another couple of months. I've got a, another film coming with a... a uh, a Texas production company, all veterans, Army, Marine Corps, and and the money and the uh, and the uh, support is coming from Skywalker Ranch, from from uh, Steven Spielberg. I mean, we're getting there, brother. We're getting there. 
I love it. We need to have you back on a whole bunch more to talk about everything you're doing. And then we got to get Nate on. We got to get more of these badasses on. I'm telling you, we just got to start lining them up so people can hear about it. But Rudy, I want to thank you for coming on. I mean, I'm all fired up right now. I think I'm going to go work out now just to yeah. take some energy. Yeah. All like, just like the last time when I met you in person and we had a meal together, I walked away like, I don't even need to get on this plane to fly home. I can flap my arms and get there away because I got That's I got right. my. Energy. I want to thank you for coming on. Before you go. Tell folks how they can plug in, learn more about. We've been running the sure. Force Blue. Plug away. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you if they want to message you, follow you on IG. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, easiest way uh, with Force Blue, just look up forcebluteam.org. And uh, I can't tell you enough how much Force Blue means to us, the brothers. We're saving freaking warriors one coral reef at a time. Um, and, uh, and, we, the staff, we don't even make uh, one single penny. Everything is, is, is bootstrapped and sweat equity because what's most important is getting our men and women trained in school, which costs money because the instructors are not cheap. Uh, and then we deploy them. Uh, forcebluteam.org. And we've got, we've got great shorts and, and gear coming from Sunga Life, my SEAL brother that does all my swimwear stuff. Uh, the donate button's really easy to find. You can find this Force Blue Team. On IG, you can find me, Rudy Reyes, at the real Rudy Reyes IG. Those are the best ways to get a hold of me. And uh, and when in doubt, just Google my name, Rudy Reyes, and I'm the first guy that comes up. I know it's kind of a common Latino name, but just Google Rudy Reyes. I'm the first guy. You'll find a way to get to me. You're the guy with the shirt off, usually. Yeah. So that's, 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 you always can find Rudy's shirt off, yeah, no matter brother. what. Yeah, brother. He's ridiculously awesome. I want to thank you. Oh, before I go, congratulations to you and Jade on your engagement. I'm so proud, uh, happy for you too. I can't thank wait to see both. you in person, bud, and we can cheers in person. I can't wait till that day to be really soon. I want to thank you for coming on. We're going to have you back. So thanks again, bud. Semper thank fi. you so much, Eric. Semper fi. Do or die, baby. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Out.